I was seven the first time I saw the slaughtering of a goat. His name was Burhane, meaning light. The locals found it humorous that we treated him as our pet. Fresh from America and strangers in the country of our origin. Far away from perfectly lined pavements and street lights, we spent our summer break on the outskirts of Asmera. By the second week, we managed to blend with our surroundings. Our feet grew callous and dusty from climbing trees and running for miles in the dirt. My sister and I were beginning to win the acceptance of the neighborhood children, so much so that they finally stopped calling us foreigners. The day is vivid. My abaya was wrapped in its ella as we huddled under a shade escaping the blistering heat of the East African sun. She was teaching me how to pound roasted coffee beans and pour them into the jebana using a meshrefet. Earlier in the day, my cousin had summoned the butcher from a neighboring village. He entered our compound through the back gate, greeting my grandmother with a stoic expression they kissed three times on both cheeks, as was our custom. A leather pouch that smelled of cowhide hung from his shoulder. Following their brief exchange, she pointed at Burhane, who was idly nibbling away at his food. Carrying a long rope, the butcher walked up from behind to tie Burhane up with effortless force. My eyes widened when he pulled out a rusted machete from his waist. I helplessly watched him make the incision, defiant convulsions, blood squirted from his neck as he contorted. After the final jerk, Burhane's eyes turned lifeless. Abaya pulled out his organs one by one, soaking them in water and stringing them up to dry. I stood puzzled and repulsed, imagining the terror on my sister's face upon discovering that the stomachs of our relatives would be filled with Brahana's cooked remnants by nightfall.